In this part, we will talk about two bacterial diseases, cholera and leprosy. We will talk about the causative agents also, their symptoms and how to treat it plus how they spread. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. So the first is cholera and second is leprosy. Causative agent of cholera is Vibrio cholerae. Vibrio cholerae. It is a comma shaped bacterium like this. The infection spreads through direct contaminated food and water. So it is called direct oral as it spreads through contaminated food and water. The symptom is basically one but there are things which are associated with it. Symptom is severe diarrhea. And because this diarrhea is severe, it leads to dehydration. If it is not treated in time, then this dehydration may get very serious. And because this diarrhea is continuously um, going on, it may lead to blood loss along with feces. Feces is watery, fecal matter is watery. Sometimes there is blood loss, mucus loss in that fecal matter or stool. Treatment is simple. We know it is a bacterial disease, so antibiotics. And to take care of this dehydration, oral rehydration solution, ORS, which is commonly known as, is given to the patient. There is cholera vaccine also available. It is called cholera vaccine, but Mostly uh, people don't take this vaccine because of lack of awareness. Leprosy is known as Hansen's disease. And the bacterium which causes this disease is Mycobacterium leprae. That is the causative bacterium. Now, in case of leprosy, the problem is the toxin or the chemical substance which is produced by the bacterium, which is called lepromin, it produces lepromin, which is a histolytic substance. Histolytic substance. Histolytic, histo is tissue. So, it sort of digests, breaks down the tissue. So this substance breaks down the tissues and normally this toxic substance here or this histolytic substance starts to act from extremities. So digits, nose, pinna, toes, these are the areas from where this damage actually starts. It spreads through direct contact. That means if you touch that person, the infection is going to spread. Infection by direct contact. And that is why treatment of these uh, patients, leprosy patients is difficult because nobody wants to go and treat them because 
if unknowingly you touch that person or your body comes in contact with that person, then the infection is going to spread. And that is why they are isolated from the society. Symptoms. First is, there is various uh, discoloration, you can say. The pigmentation is lost. So, discoloration of skin or loss of pigmentation, pigments. And that is why light colored patches would appear first, especially on extremities. Then, deformities because the tissue is now getting broken, digested. So, deformities. And these deformities can result into loss of the complete digits. So, slowly the tissue will start to dissolve, starting from the extremities. So, all these fingers would ultimately be sort of dissolved. So, imagine if a person has only the palm part, then how is this person going to work? Treatment, antibiotics are there, but as I said, people who can treat them are very less. So, treatment is antibiotic. And it is called Henson's disease because of the scientists who actually discovered it. And this thing is the most important that the toxin which is produced is a histolytic chemical. It dissolves the tissues and it starts to act from extremities. And extremities will include digits, toes, nose and pinna. And that is why whenever you find or see a leper, they always have deformed fingers, deformed nose because of this substance or the toxin which is produced by the bacteria. And because both of these are bacterial diseases, treatment is antibiotic. In case of cholera, because of dehydration, ORS is given. And in case of leprosy, the person is isolated so that the infection doesn't spread because it is a direct contact infection. In the next part, we will take up few more diseases.